Go. What's your initial thoughts on the draw? Uh, hard. Uh, I thought I thought initial thoughts are hard, and it doesn't have anything to do with uh, what could potentially be the second weekend. It's the first weekend. You know, um, I haven't studied Northeastern yet. I know Bill some and, and known him a while and got great respect for him, but. Uh, but I, I, I don't know uh, their personnel yet, except I know they got four guys that shoot, shoot it every time they're open. So that, that's hard for us, which we'll have to definitely uh, tighten some things up. But, uh, uh, you know, you, 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 whoever wins our first game, uh, then, then, you, then you got the winner of Auburn in New Mexico State. And, you know, to me, that's, a, you know, that's hard. You know, Auburn's arguably as hot as anybody. And, and New Mexico State took us to the last possession uh, in the Sprint Center, so uh, you know, which is technically kind of a home game. So yeah, it's hard, but our focus is 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 trying to win two games this weekend, and we know we got a tough opponent. Whenever, whenever you, to me, and, and I, I could be wrong in how I look at this because I may look at it differently than most. You you got a situation with Northeastern that did not win their league, if I'm not mistaken. They were the two seed in the tournament, isn't that right? guys and, 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 and Hofstra won their league, but they still get a 13 seed when you don't win the league out of a, out of, out of, out of the Colonial. You know, you think historically if the team that doesn't win the league out of, out of, out of, a, out of a, a, some leagues, you know, that would be a 15 or 16 or something like that, and that's not the case at all. So it tells you that league was good, and it also tells you that these guys can play. It's just playing Iowa State and their four guards. Does that help in any way? Um, you know what, I, I would say, uh, in, in theory, yes, uh, Jesse. But you know, we prepared to play Iowa State having one walkthrough for 20 minutes. So it wasn't like we practiced preparing to play Iowa State. So we we practiced uh, last week to prepare to play uh, to play Texas, and, and then actually with the thought that we would probably play Texas Tech. So so, uh, uh, but. Does it does it hurt? No, it probably it probably helps more than hurts, but but certainly we will we'll, uh, hopefully we'll be better better prepared to be better at it. You know, after a couple of days practice, or three days practice. Surprise you got in the Midwest region? Yes. Uh, almost shocked that, that it was that we were in the Midwest. So, uh, but I but I I like that we're in the Midwest. You know. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if we would have driven to Des Moines and, and Tulsa also, but usually when you're a four seed, you know, you don't get everything catered to you like we have uh, sometimes in the past because we've been a one. But uh, yeah, I, I, like, I like the fact that we're in the, the Midwest. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna think about this, but if, if, if favorites win according to the seed line, uh, you know, have, having having Carolina and, and Kentucky in in one regional. I mean, that that that's, that sounds more like a Final Four than a, than a regional. So, but that that's a lot of things have to happen for all teams for that to occur. And and, and certainly, uh, um, you know, we got we, we're just focused on a two game tournament and 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 uh, got to put all our emphasis on that and don't even think past that. You've you had some tough round one games as a one and a two. Mm -hmm. Obviously, last year was one. It's been so long since you were four and, and playing somebody higher up. Do you have to go look back and refresh your memory on, mm -hmm. on those types of things, or does that even matter? Well, we were, uh, I, you know what, I, I don't know that it matters. Like, it wouldn't do any good to, to, uh, um, to watch tape or anything like right, that. But, right. but the fact of the matter is, I'm trying to think when we were a four, uh, we were a four and lost to Bradley. Uh, we were a four and beat uh, Illinois Chicago. If I'm sh isn't that right? Uh, and that's the only time we've been four, right. if I'm not mistaken. So, so, uh, but but there may be something to that because we were a four and, and lost to Bradley, and we were starting three freshmen and two sophomores. And so, you know, as young as we are, there's probably some things that we can think back to to maybe uh, uh, avoid some of the intangible things that don't have anything to do with basketball to help us with that situation. Maybe. You mentioned potentially you would see in Kentucky and Kansas City. Do you think that's really fair for a one seed to potentially have to come to Kansas City and maybe play you? I'm not going to get things? into that, but but I, I would I would say that 
that, uh, 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 you know, to, to me, if, if, if you win two games in the tournament, you know you're going to play a really good team, and you know it's, you know, it, it's probably going to be a, a neutral deal in a situation like that. That, that, that. But this won't be a neutral deal if, if you know, if, if everybody advances. And you throw Iowa State in, if they advance, I mean, they'll have more fans there than anybody. So, so uh, it's. Uh, uh, I, I still think what wins more than anything is talent and talented players playing together at the right time. But, but certainly, uh, uh, we had an opportunity to play Carolina the first weekend in Kansas City, and and that was a that was a pretty significant advantage for us at that particular time. But Coach, that's that's getting way ahead of, mm -hmm. uh, of of what we should be thinking about. Coach, this is your sixty seventh. NCAA tournament, 21st year. You got 60, oh, 67th tournament or 67th game? Tournament, tournament oh, game. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how, can you put it in perspective to your kids? You got all these kids that have been watching this on TV, and they're not going to be on the end of the bench watching the older guys play. Yeah. They're going to be out there. Yeah, it's different. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, you would think you go to the Final Four last year, and and uh, you know, you think that you would at least return some experience, like 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 Villanova. They were talking about Pascal and Booth. I mean, those are guys that have won two national championships and been through the rigors, and everybody's talking about how much they lost, which they lost a ton. And and, and here we are, not by all through uh, graduation and guys leaving early. Uh, two guys that have even participated are, are Marcus and, and Mitch. And and so this is new for everybody. So, uh, yeah, but the biggest thing is to have fun, enjoy it, and. It's a reward of guys doing a good job on every team uh, throughout the, the course of the season, and, and we need to approach it that way and, and uh, try, to try to play as free as we possibly can. Has anybody on the team been to Utah when were you last there? Uh, I can't speak to I, – I didn't get a chance to ask every individual uh, <laughs> if they've ever uh, passed through uh, there, but, but I, I, would, I would venture to guess the vast majority have not. And uh, uh, I've, I've been to, uh, oh, I think it's probably been four weeks since I've been to Utah. So, so you know, I went recruiting up there not too long ago. So, so uh, uh, I'm a vet uh, <laughs> when it comes to, uh, you know, the city and cultures and all those things. It, it is what it is, but, but is there any advantage to a younger team with no experience in the tournament, being a lower seed and, and not having that top seed pressure that, that comes with that. I think that I th I think with uh, with the one seed, whether you want to admit it or not, that there comes with pressure if you haven't ever sure. dealt with it before, because everybody else believes they're playing with house money, and and uh, and you believe you have to do something. So uh, yeah, it, it could help us. You know, I'll, I'll certainly uh, you know look at it from that perspective. But when when you're when you're uh, a lower seed, then obviously uh, competition is is also uh, greater too. At least you know in the in the first round game. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I we'll look at it that way. But I'm excited for our guys to see how they react. And like I said yesterday, I haven't watched all the game from last night. We did a lot of things pretty well yesterday that didn't come out looking well. I, 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 if you guys ever want to study a stat, which we don't track this, and, and we should moving forward, we will. How many points they scored under five on the shot clock compared to us, and and I'll bet you it was twenty five to six, uh, uh, something like that yesterday. So so there's some things that, you know, we have got to do a better job of, obviously. Uh, uh, but you know, we actually guard them decent for, you know, twenty five seconds of most shot clocks and eliminated transition and got the ball where we wanted it for the most part. So. I don't think that, uh, I think that one of the announcers, I was just texting, they said we were limping home. And, and I could see how somebody could say that if, if they look at the scores, uh, uh, you know, the Texas Tech score and the Oklahoma score. But, you know, this team's won eight of our last 11. And, and uh, that's after going through a whole bunch of stuff. And, and we're, close to, we're close to getting it, even though we haven't quite got it yet. But so that tells me that there's still a great opportunity for our best to still be ahead of us. What do you make of that in your region? You've already faced four of those uh, teams in that group. Uh, well, you know what? I hadn't even got.
got past the uh, uh, our side. So, you know, the only one I thought of was uh, was obviously uh, uh, New Mexico State, but 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 certainly, you know, Iowa State and certainly uh, Kentucky and who was the other one? New Mexico State. Oh, well, that's just three. Wofford. Oh, Wofford. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So it, it's obviously, uh, uh, you know, that, that that could help us some. I don't know, but it only helps you if you play them. And and certainly, we got a lot of work to do before we get opportunity to play those folks. Big Twelve do okay, or are you surprised by the number of teams we got in? No, I'm wasn't surprised at all. But I was disappointed. You know, I, I think that I think that uh, VCU losing. I, I believe that uh, uh, St. Mary's winning, and, and certainly. Uh, uh, Oregon winning last night probably hurt Texas's and TCU's chances. So I'm disappointed because our league was better than 60%. Than but in this particular year, year I'm, not, I'm not sure we would have got 80%. But I, I think we could have gotten one more. And uh, disappointed for them because they had good years. But, but, uh, but certainly it's kind of a strange year. It seems like to me that the, the, the power – so called power leagues, none of them really quite got as many as what they had projected them to get, uh, you know, if everything had fallen right. So, sort of along those lines, did you ever think you'd see one conference get three of the four one seed? Uh, probably, I don't, has it happened? I don't even know. Did it happen in 85, Larry? I know they had three from one they conference in the final three, four. Three, so, so, but, but, so it may be the first time ever, but if you, Really study it. I think that the committee probably got it right. Uh, you know, if, if Kentucky had won that tournament, uh, I think that they could have easily been a one seed and deservedly so. Uh, but but it, it's hard to, you know, it's it's hard to, uh, uh, to to put a team that's a number one overall seed in the tournament, uh, and and then have a have another team that that uh, uh, that, that beat you two out of three, and the one they lost to was. A coin flip game that a tip in goes in, and they, you know, they could have beat you three times. And so, uh, to me, I, I think they probably got it right as far as the, the teams that were the best from the start to the finish. But there's some teams, obviously, that wasn't there, i.e., Michigan State, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tennessee can beat anybody. Anybody on the two line can beat anybody, but, but, uh, uh, Somebody would have been disappointed regardless. I don't think it was a slam dunk, but I do think they got it right. Anything else? Thanks, Okay, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.